I'd like to take a few minutes and illustrate how ArcGIS 9.3 provides a platform that supports the entire organization for accessing up-to-date information. ArcGIS Desktop is the starting point for GIS in any organization, whether you have one user or hundreds. ArcGIS Desktop is where GIS analysts author maps, address locators, geoprocessing models, and use an extensive set of editing tools to maintain authoritative information about the organization. While the types of assets that organizations want to manage varies amongst the industries, they all need a comprehensive system for storing, managing, and maintaining accurate and secure information. ArcGIS 9.3 includes improvements in data management, making our platform even more open and interoperable, allowing you to easily integrate information from other information systems, applications, and departments. GIS analysts maintain the GIS system and perform major edits to keep the information current. A new subdivision is being developed and the GIS analyst needs to update some, some of the base layers. The editor would start an edit session, select the database that they would like to update. ArcGIS supplies a robust set of editing tools to create highly accurate spatial data. In addition, ArcGIS supports the direct read of over 40 formats. One of the supported formats is CAD and a local engineering company has submitted a CAD drawing of the new subdivision. Another role of the GIS analyst is to establish editing workflows and automate tasks such as importing features from CAD drawings into the geodatabase. An automated task imports the features from the CAD drawing and updates base layers in the GIS. Editors would then select the geometries that were added from the CAD drawings and update key attributes within the individual features. The edits would be saved and posted back to the core geodatabase. In addition to editing and importing data, a GIS analyst can automate data management tasks by using Model Builder to author models. Notice in the magnifier window that there is an active work order on the map. If we look closely, there is a field crew installing water service for two new homes that are being built. The work orders are managed in a separate database, but we want to use them in the GIS. Using Model Builder, GIS analysts can integrate data from multiple sources and build a model to streamline the process of work of locating the work orders. If we open the model and we look at the model closely, we can see that it takes input addresses, uses a geocoding locator, finds the geocoded results, and then appends those to the work orders layer in the geodatabase. If we run the model, we can manually enter addresses to update the work order database. Or I might use an Excel spreadsheet that has been sent to me from another department. Using these records from this Excel spreadsheet, the work orders can be located and then the geodatabase is updated, making the work orders available to be viewed and queried throughout the organization. GIS analysts aren't the only folks that need access to update up-to-date information. The actual work assigned in this work order is done in the field, and access to the information in the field can be extremely valuable to field crews such as the one you see here.